Hello, I'm Ivan from Vozentech, and today I'll be showing you how to disassemble your 5th generation microfiber, whether it be a Microfiber 5 Lite or a Microfiber 5 Pro, as the construction of both of these devices is very similar. Now, generally for this sort of procedure, you will only have to do it if you are replacing a part, if any of the parts have gone faulty, or if you're trying to conduct any sort of maintenance and want to take a look inside the device. This is not a procedure you should be doing on a routine basis, although it is fairly simple. Now, to get started, all you will have to do is take off the safety cover from the microfiber, unscrew the fluid tank as you would normally, uh, just your standard operation. Next, make sure that the vise is completely off if it was on before that, and this can be done using the toggle switch on the back. Next, take out the battery by twisting the battery cap and pulling the battery cap out, followed by tapping out the battery itself. Make sure to store the batteries only in safety cases as there is a risk of short circuiting if you are just storing them loosely. And now we're ready for the actual disassembly. So on the front of the microfiber, you'll notice that there are three small black screws on the front bulkhead. These are the screws that hold the bulkhead in, and to remove them, you'll just need a standard Phillips head screwdriver uh, of a pretty small size. They should come out very easily, so if you notice that the screwdriver is slipping in any way, then it may mean that the screwdriver is of the wrong size. Now, you don't need to worry about uh, mixing them up, as they are the same exact size, and even the screws that are inside the microfiber, uh, once we take a look inside, are also the same size. Once you've got those three screws out, just place your fingers on the front panel where the screen is located and gently push forwards. When you push forwards, you will notice that the bulkhead starts coming out just like this. When this starts happening, go ahead and grab the bulkhead and pull it out. Set the bulkhead aside and you will notice that a small silver piece here has come out. Uh, this is usually mounted as such, but will fall out when you remove the bulkhead, and this is the front battery spring. So let me go ahead and just remove it here so it doesn't keep falling out. Once the bulkhead is removed, you will be able to slide the front panel of the microfiber all the way out, just like this. This finishes the disassembly, or at least the basic disassembly, of the fifth generation microfibers. From this point on, if you are following one of our other tutorials or following any other guidance, you'll want to replace whichever parts need replacing or conduct whichever maintenance procedure you're looking to do. And once you've done that, you can come back to this tutorial and we'll just continue on with reassembling the device. Now, reassembling the device is pretty straightforward. However, there are a few points uh, to mention that will make life a lot easier. So as you can expect, the first step is to reinstall the top cover. Now, reinstalling the top cover looks simple, but you really do need to make sure that you are slotting it into the correct grooves on the microfiber's case. Uh, if you try to slot it into the lower grooves, that has the potential of damaging this very delicate spring on the front that connects the circuit board to power. So once again, just make sure you're pushing it into the correct grooves and it should go in without requiring any excessive force. Make sure you've pushed it in all the way until the bottom edge is flat, flush with the bottom side of the microfiber. Next, reinstall the battery spring, making sure that the small hole is facing towards the top of the microfiber where the buttons are. Just place it in and it should sit completely flush with the rest of the inner part of the microfiber here. Next, for the bulkhead. If you try to reinstall the bulkhead just like this, you'll notice that the center contact will keep on sliding out. To prevent this from happening and to make the reassembly procedure a lot easier, just take the tank that you removed in the first step, screw it back onto the microfiber, and this will prevent you, uh, this will prevent the center contact from getting pushed out. As you can see, it's held nice and snug there. And to reinstall it, uh, to make sure that the fit goes correctly, just wiggle it in in a circular motion and gently start pushing down. 
and it should seat itself, making a watertight seal around the airport there. This is really important for good performance. So once you've pushed in all the way, it should sit flush and to allow for the screws to be reinstalled, just take off the fluid tank and reinstall those three screws. You'll want to make sure that they are fairly tight, but definitely don't over tighten them as stripping the screws can be a problem as you won't be able to take them out later on. Once the three screws are in place, you should notice that the bulkhead is flush, the top panel is also flush, so you can just reinstall your fluid tank, your safety cover, and pop your battery back in, finally securing it with the battery cap. But of course, as always, make sure that the battery cap is being inserted correctly with the indicator in a horizontal position. There's only one way for it to go in with the pins and then rotating it 90 degrees clockwise until you hear the click. And now if you turn the microfogger on, you should see the screen turn on and it should work properly after that. If you have any questions or comments about this tutorial, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below or reach out to us via email or phone support and we'll be delighted to help you. Thanks for watching.